ladies and gentlemen. How dare you define me as a mere lady and or gentleman? How do you not see that I am an attack helicopter? There's a serious and life-threatening epidemic going on in our great schools. Somebody do call the WHO. It has the power to completely destroy a young man's education. To Fuck, that's horrible. What is it? Tell us. We must stop it now. Is it something like a false rape accusation? Throw the entire school day off track, compromising the education of millions. You mean something like NATO? You know, NATO is not an epidemic. It's just a terrorist organization. I'm referring, of course, to young women's exposed shoulders, thighs, tight, revealing yoga pants. You know, Lacey, people should not walk in public dressed like that, let alone in a public educational institution. This injustice is sweeping our nation, and it needs to be stopped. While I do agree with you, that people in educational institutions should be dressed properly. I believe there are more pressing issues we should focus our efforts on. Like, for example, the tons and tons of food uh, destroyed all over the world, uh, all over the developed world, just to keep up the prices while millions starve. And w what else? Oh, yes, the inability of regular working class folk not being able to pay the bills and pay for food with their salary. Hmm. We can focus on the moral aspects of clothes later, okay? Now onward, let's march and retake our factories. Hi babes, we are coming up on that time of the year again. Fucking jump cuts, I can barely cut this shit. Anyway, uh, when I saw this, it was uh, the 25th of May, and when it was uploaded, it was the 25th of May the previous year. So, I would have brushed it off as a, just another YouTube misrecommendation. Uh, I was familiar with this person because, uh, well, I watch people like Bering, and he seems to be fond of her. Anyway... When I saw it on the 25th, and when I saw that it was also uploaded on the 25th, and let me remind you, oh yes, you, no, nobody probably knows this, the 25th of May is the day of youth, a holiday, well it used to be a holiday, anyway, it's the day of youth, and this really pissed me off and I had to do something about it. Now let's work our way through her jump cuts, onwards! Behind the red banner we march! Dress codes have been a point of controversy for the last few years, and I think rightfully so. I Imagine showing up to church naked. Imagine showing up to somebody's wedding in your swimsuit. Or going to a restaurant in a swimsuit. Imagine walking topless around the city. I mean, men or women, they're just something you don't do. Society has certain standards, and we should abide by those standards. They're not bad, Lacey. They keep order. That's why we made them up and even bothered to put them in writing. And especially in education institutions, such as schools and high schools, etc., you need the students and the faculty to be dressed appropriately. You can just walk around naked all the time, can you? Staten Island High School administrators gave nearly 200 female students detention for wearing shorts in the sweltering heat of summer. Any English schools where there's not only a dress code but a uniform, boys are not allowed to wear short trousers in the heat of summer. They are only allowed to wear long trousers because they're becoming young, young men and men do not wear short trousers, especially to official, uh, official functions such. Are you going to talk about that, Lacey? Uh, 
No, I suspect not. Well, let us see, let us see. You might just surprise me. Distracting, they said. A middle school in California held a mandatory assembly for girls only and pulled them out of class to tell them they can't wear yoga pants or leggings. Distracting. Yes, it is distracting to other students, especially in, um, how do I put this? Spring, when their juices start flowing. I mean, have you ever been to high school, Lacey? I mean, I know for you it's been like 20 years since you've been to high school, or even 30, and a lot has changed since, since the 50s. But for me it was pretty recently, and I remember every spring. Let's move on. Look at this picture. And tell me you don't find it distracting. Distracting! So distracting! I knew you'd agree with me. I knew it! Let's just brace for this. Students are coming forward with these stories often come with tales of inappropriate comments from the administration, like school's dress code violators are skanks. Not only do I agree with that statement, but let's turn to the dictionary for help, and we'll see who else agrees with that statement, or at least if that statement is correct. And here's a dictionary definition, and what does it say? Read it, read it out loud. Boys are bad, and that kind of shirt is going to cause them to misbehave. Surprise me, Lacey. You have now clearly turned your back on the feminist narrative that you need to teach men not to rape. Because this is refreshing from you. Because I always thought you were one of those people who want to teach men not to rape, right? I see you have changed your mind. Very good for you, Lacey. Very good. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, no it doesn't. Jump cuts don't make sense. Well, the problem with that particular type of shirt is that you do not cover your shoulders. It is common decency that when you go out in public, your shoulders should be covered. The only exception is the pool or the seaside. To be clear, the problem with this trend is not that there are guidelines for dress. We have oh, sorry, I thought you were asking me what the problem was with that particular shirt. Well, okay. So you agree with me that there's no problem with having guidelines for dress. That's nice, that's nice. Guidelines for work and weddings and interviews and outdoor activities and schools. Guidelines themselves aren't the problem. The problem is when these codes target girls specifically because of the mentality that their bodies are sexual and therefore distracting. So Have you considered that it's just that girls are more prone to breaking these guidelines in schools? I mean, how many boys do you see walking around in yoga pants? Or how many of them you see walking around with trousers or jeans so short half of their ass is showing? Well, i never seen that. I know that you live on the other side of the world, but I seriously doubt that things are so different where you're from than over here. Here are five reasons why dress code double standards are kind of definitely sexist. Now for fuck's sake, Lacey. It's not a double standard, it's enforced on all students. Number two, it tells boys, many of whom are children, I might add, that girls' bodies are inherently sexual regardless of context. It teaches boys that it's acceptable to disrespect girls and misbehave if they can see her skin. Instead of teaching boys that they're responsible for their own actions, it teaches them that girls are responsible for them. This is an extraordinarily dangerous lesson that we teach boys. It's part of how we set the stage for harassment, sexual assault, and victim blaming. Boys are bad, and that kind of shirt is going to cause them to misbehave. How can both of these two statements be true, Lacey? How? How can the statement, boys are bad and will misbehave if you, if you look sexy, be wrong at the same time, the statement, boys are evil? It's true! How does those two work together? Fucking hell! I just realized what a double think is! I mean, I knew the concept of it! And I knew, I understood when people used it when they talked about feminists. But I just grasped it and tried to, I just tried to understand her double fake fucking hell. Administrators are punishing girls with detention, public humiliation, expulsion, mandatory assemblies. What? My head's still hurting from that dip into double think. 
anyway. Yes, you do realize boys are subjected to this too, right? You do realize that boys are not only subjected to dress code standards, but they are also subjected to discrimination in the classroom for being boys and for acting more like bo boys. In the Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-American world, they get detention. I mean, here it's illegal to keep people against their will, but you do what you do. Uh, yes, as I said earlier, both genders, sorry, sexes, or whatever you want to call them, are subjected to the same rules. It's just that girls like to break them more often, and boys like to dre dress the same at this, all the time. I remember a case of a guy, one year younger than me in high school, came to school in a shirt, you know, this sporty shirt that doesn't have sleeves, that only has the kind you, you uh, sh showed in the picture earlier, and all the teachers told him that was it was not appropriate for school. He wasn't sent home because, well, but he was ex told very explicitly that he should not come to school dressed like that. The thing that seems to be flying over all these administrators' heads, the reality of middle school and high school is this. Everybody is distracted. Every it's their job to undistract them as much as possible. That's the point of school. Learning. Not being di distracted. You can be distracted as you on your own time. Everybody's bodies are changing, crushes. It's all new. It's all exciting. And it that does not belong into an educational environment. If you want to kiss your boyfriend, go do it in your park. If you want to be naked, go do it in your own apartment, your own house, not in the school. This was depressing. You ruined a double holiday for me, Lacey. You ruined a double holiday for me. When I was searching for yoga pants, I came across this picture. Now, as our video is winding down, enjoy. And know that what she is describing is exactly this. The problem is that boys don't go to school in yoga pants. So boys, go to school in yoga pants and see what happens. Yes. Uh, I cut a lot of the, her original video out. If you want to see it, the link's in the description. I just couldn't bear anymore. Just couldn't bear anymore. Goodbye, take care, and bye Nokia.